Hey guys, this is Alan from Queen Creek Tropical Splunk Nursery and in today's episode I'm going to teach you exactly how to take care of your yerba mate. Alright guys, you probably never heard of this plant before and that's fine because this is one of those tropical plants uh, most people don't know about. But believe it or not, it's almost everywhere and you'll know why in a minute. Yerba mate is actually, I don't know how to explain it, think of it as a green tea. Let me show you. This is my yerba mate in the ground. It has been in the ground for about two years now from a small one gallon. Now, the main purpose of this plant are the leaves. These leaves right here, you can make tea out of it. And the tea is like a very dark green that has all kinds of medicinal purposes. Uh, but besides all that, the main attraction to this plant is its caffeine content. It has a lot more caffeine than coffee. So, Normally, you will find yerba mate in a lot of the energy drinks out there, the organic or natural energy drinks, because they like to use yerba mate as a caffeine substitute. Now, let's talk about the plant itself. How much sun does, does the plant need? Yerba mate will take full sun anywhere in the United States. If it takes full sun in my area, 120 Fahrenheit direct sun from sunrise to sunset, it will take full sun in your area. I've noticed the plant does not do well in the shade. Can it grow in the shade? Yes, but it's going to grow a lot slower and usually you want more growth out of it, so put it in the sun. Now let's talk about the winter protection. Even though this is a tropical plant, guys, this plant right here will take light frost. It will take very cold temperatures. The coldest temperature this plant has taken is 19 degrees ambient temperature with frost protection and wind protection. Surprisingly, even though it's a tropical plant, it does well in the winter time. As long as your soil doesn't freeze and you don't stay in the low 20s or even in the teens, for too long. I'm talking about briefly, guys, a few hours. Now, if you stay in, you know, 19 degrees for days on end, that's a different story. When I drop down to 19 degrees, this plant have frost protection and it only stayed 19 degrees, I would say, I don't remember, maybe it was like 11, 12 hours straight and it was only a few days. But now you can see my plant is doing well. Let's talk about the root structure of this plant. The root structure of this plant is shallow, guys. It actually has fibrous roots. So you will always need to water this plant more frequently than any other plant. Another thing that I've noticed about this plant too is it is drought tolerant once it's fully rooted in the ground. But just because it's drought tolerant, it doesn't mean that it's going to grow amazingly if you don't water. It's not, it's just gonna take longer to die. So how many plants do you need in order to for, for the plant to get pollinated? To be honest, it doesn't really matter because you're not growing this plant for the flowers, but you only need one plant. And you can see my yerba mate, it's about to flower. Tons of flowers everywhere, but the flowers are so small that you can barely see them and they only last you know, for a few hours and then they're gone. Um, the structure of the plant, this is a bush guys, this is not a tree. This plant, naturally I've seen them get about 15 feet tall, um, but you know, I don't know how tall it's going to get in our area here in Arizona, but this plant right now is about 6 feet tall and it has only been in the ground for about 2 years. It is naturally a bush, it is not a tree, but you can trim it as a bush if you just cut all the lower branches and just keep a few main branches, you know, and have them grow upright if you want upper canopy. But you are growing this plant for the foliage, so you want more branches, the more branches you get, well, the more leaves you are going to get. Uh, what else? Uh, fruits. Uh, this plant does not fruit, guys. It only flowers. Remember, you're going to be using the, the leaves. You're not going to use anything else out of the plant. Container growing. Well, let's go take a look. So here we have some um, one gallon yerba matas that we started last year from cuttings. Uh, surprisingly, they do take very easy from cuttings. The only trick for them with most plants is going to be only propagated when it's hot at night. I'm talking about 70 plus at night and then your cuttings will take very easily. Uh, but yeah, these are one, uh, one gallons right here guys. So yerba mates, they grow very easily, super easy. So we have one gallons and 
we have uh, three or five gallons which is the same volume of dirt anyway but yeah so these are the bigger ones that we have right here now from the size that you just saw in the one gallons to this size right here this is about seven feet coming up to eight feet tall and you can see all the flowers there it took about uh, two years so they do grow in containers uh, very easily but this plant right here is root bound so it needs to be in a bigger container um, container growing guys yes you can do it um, but if you want your plant uh, to be more productive you probably need to put it in the ground now once you put your plant in the ground it will take at least one full year for that plant to fully root itself in the ground before it starts growing um let's talk about fertilization uh, you don't need any special fertilizers guys in the containers we use any slow release fertilizer that we have available and they don't care they eat it in the ground all we use is just compost and mulch every once in a while and that's all your plant needs in order in order to survive and grow um any other special thing about the yerba mate i think that's about it guys very easy to grow full sun just frost protection in the winter time uh, water when dry shallow roots so they're safe to be planted close to structures and uh yeah yerba mate guys like i said it's not one of those plants that most people know about it's tropical but it's one of the easiest plants to actually grow in non-tropical areas like here in arizona uh very nutritional so many uses um and uh, if you never tried it before i mean go ahead and try it it's not gonna be sweet um so obviously if you if you like sweet stuff you're gonna have to add sugar to it but neither is you know tea so you gotta add sugar to it to make a sweet tea right so it's the same thing with this guys um but yeah you know if you're into tropical growing guys you know i highly recommend it super easy to grow super easy to propagate we actually are going to be posting the one gallons on our website soon so if you want to buy one for yourself we can ship anywhere in the united states um you know a yerba mate we can ship it to you if you if you want to order it through the website anyways guys if you have any questions about this plant or any of the other plants that we carry here at the nursery and this is the first time you're watching me we specialize in tropical fruit trees so if it's a fruit tree and it's tropical we most likely know about it and if we don't we will research about it and start growing it anyways guys any comments comment below don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you next time